Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through the Bitcoin chart that we have here, the action that we have seen today and my targets for Bitcoin on this movement up. Uh, we're continuing to buy the dip is working absolutely well. Uh, obviously we have just continuously seen throughout the year now on this macro scale the low, the higher, the, then the high, okay so the bounce from the high, the higher low. OK, and we've continually been going on for higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, and now another higher high on this chart. OK, but for me, we are running into the target areas. OK, we are running into this red box of resistance zone, which for me is a high probability target combined with the midpoint of this uh, pitchfork that I've got going on here. So this is a high probability target where you want to at least be taking money uh, profit on your long positions. OK, at the very least, if not looking for shorts, um, you would be at very least take, taking some profits off of the table in these regions. OK because of the resistance that we are reaching is very high and you have to uh, acknowledge the bearish divergences that we are getting uh, obviously moving up into this resistance zone when you get a mixture of high probability targets we have 80 percent of reaching this target so when you're reaching these high probability target zones along with the cluster of resistance that we also have here along with the bearish divergences you could say that the histogram is still up ticking. So the histogram, not so much at the moment. Obviously, RSI, we have seen down ticks, although currently still coming up again on the daily. So it's a little bit too early to call uh, because we could just continue to move up here. OK, but we've seen this whole cluster of um, targets coming together. So you would at least be looking to start to scale out of your longs uh, if you're not looking to take shorts on this market um, environment right now. OK, but you can see here how taking some shorts, if you are in for scalp short positions, obviously would have worked out very nicely on today's move where you're looking for that top fishing play uh, where you have your clear resistance level. OK, you have your clear resistance level from the high. OK, so you have the higher to move. And then as you're reaching this resistance level, you're just looking for sort of scalp plays with your stops just literally above that resistance. OK, where you want to kind of be out of the move if you start going above resistances, going back down to the uh you know the, the, this yellow line here i've took off the fifth, fifth channel temporarily uh for this video uh this yellow line here is obviously just our um pitch one of our pitchfork uh, support lines okay and you can just see how it's being respected as well uh but obviously here yeah that was a substantial drop down today for the people that took the uh the uh you know the short for the top fishing play but also on the way back down it was a brilliant opportunity to buy the dip okay uh buying the dip has worked extremely well over the last we're talking about over a lot over a month now you know continuously buying the dips uh, that have been going on you know for me while we're still holding these higher lows is really really bullish okay um it really is like it's undeniable that this movement up is bullish like when you are moving up with the higher highs higher lows and every single drop gets bought up very quickly okay like like seen today is like a prime example of the dips that get bought up very quickly uh yes you you have to um take caution with your with your longs because you're running into this resistance area but while it works it's absolutely works and then if that really big drop does come um which you know it likely will when it does come you have already profited so hard on your longs and you've got your stop losses set that it's not going to make any difference to you i mean um it's just crazy to be scared to have been longing you know there's so many people that have been shorting every single movement up and uh yeah they've literally got pretty wrecked okay i know some people that have been doing this literally shorting every move up they're very stuck in their ways with a such a bearish bias. Uh, they have just been absolutely wrecked so far. Um, and yet that's why I'm still waiting for the higher lows to, to drop down before I'm looking to take, you know, those sort of medium term shorts. Uh, but I'm ready and waiting for the shorts, but it's just the time and the place. And you'll be making so much more money right now actually just playing with this uptrend. It's, uh, yeah, absolutely crazy. Um, obviously, all stemming back. This is what I, I was going through my trading view today, and it all stems back back from this trend line, which we saw the clear downtrend trend line broken at this point where we broke it and then back tested it. And uh, this obviously played out very well for my uh, cred, <laughs> uh, where I made the post the bottom is in for Bitcoin potentially when we had seen that trend line being broken, not just the first trend line from obviously way back in January 2018, but that second trend line, as I just showed you on my chart, they both went down and this post was obviously made what highlighted me today because it was a, a $2,000. Okay, so I made this post at 3897 and obviously now we're sat at 5800 195 so basically two thousand dollars more 
when you see play. You see how important those trend lines were to break. Obviously, we broke the first trend line, back tested it. The second one we break through, you know, a few days later, you uh, go up substantially. So that was a, uh, a nice prediction although at that point i was also obviously trading it as a uh, as a short position okay but i was aware of what could be playing out here and obviously since then it's just been you know traded in an uptrend very 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 nicely okay so that is everything that i wanted to mention i think in this video um yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. I just wanted to alert you to how why these dips have been, you know, very nice. But we are coming up to the high t high target zones. So you just have to have a little bit of caution, okay, when you're longing into resistances. Obviously, you can see so far, you know, buying the breakouts has not been such a good idea. You buy the breakouts, you get a drop. So you buy the breakout, you get a drop. Buying the dips, on the other hand, is obviously a much better strategy. You don't want to be buying resistances. You want to be buying the dips, okay? Uh, well, that's how exactly how uh, I, I would trade it, okay? <laughs> um, so take that as you will. I've been trading it very well. Um, so yeah, this is the update video for today. And I just want to say again, because uh, I received a lot of messages yesterday saying about like, please can I open it up for one more day? Uh, and the, the answer is sorry, but no, like the the, mem the mentorship is sold out for this month. Right? Well, I'm not going to open it up again for just a, another day. It's uh, yeah, sold out. And as, as wrote here, um yeah the next round so i will be opening it again on you know within the start or the first week or so of june um is uh yeah when when they will be opened back up again obviously there's i've received a lot of comments from people asking me to open it back up to for the people that didn't get in on the first round um uh because yeah yeah i just wanted to say that sorry apologies i, I just i'm not until uh yeah the first week of june more or less but as as wrote here stay tuned for further announcements and i will let you know when this opens back up again uh, but for now, it's uh, it's closed. <laughs> uh, just, uh, yeah, so that that's all I wanted to mention there. And obviously, the, ooh, this video for the, you know, potential help for Bitcoin that you can have. Obviously, some of the altcoins, 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 altcoins. I could say so much about them right now. Uh, I just want to wrap it up by saying altcoins against BTC pairings. Uh, you know, so many are like so primed and already on low levels. But while we keep up this volatility, you know, that you can just see they are continuing to bleed out. But they are continuing to bleed out into such nice potential buys for when Bitcoin stabilize, uh, stabilizes. Uh, but obviously, if you're trading against the USD pairs, and we have obviously had some very nice trades in USD pairs, uh, you know, particularly on Bina, uh, particularly on Bitfinex for me anyway. Uh, obviously, the, the, the Litecoin, Ethereum yesterday uh, been trading very nicely against the USD pairs. Um, so those are the majors that I like to trade anyway over on Bitfinex. Um, yeah. So obviously, yeah. I think I'm that's that's it. I'm going to wrap the video up now. I could talk on, but I'm just going to keep it simple and sweet. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a like and a comment if you have enjoyed. Uh, I, I uh, yeah, I enjoy reading all your comments and I will reply to you. So uh, yeah, thank you everybody for watching. And yeah, really hope you've enjoyed and taken something from this. And we'll see how this target area goes. I still am expecting this another wave up into this target zone while we are holding the higher low structure. If obviously if we break down from these higher low structures, then yeah. Obviously, it goes without saying the target was unlikely to, uh, unlikely to be hit. But while we're still holding it, this bullish structure of the higher highs, higher lows, then I am absolutely expecting my target to be hit. Um, and then, th then it goes on to the p possibility of the short squeeze. Will we get a short squeeze through this target? Uh, that's something that I'll be trading live in the moment. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to it. And I really am enjoying trading Bitcoin uh, at the moment. It's a joy. So hope you've enjoyed and thank you. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Bye.